The American Red Cross says more fires happen in the winter than in any other time of year. It's also a dangerous time to be outdoors for long stretches. News 10's John Swanner spoke with the American Red Cross. They offer suggestions on staying safe this time of year in and outdoors. Monday's fire in Terre Haute serves as a reminder that winter time is the most likely time your home could catch fire. That's because we're busy trying to heat them, some using unsafe methods like using the stove or oven. It's just a lot of times out of desperation uh, that people may use their stove or something like that to try to heat their home, but that's a really dangerous thing to do. Space heaters are another common cause of house fires this time of year. Typically, people overload the same outlet where they plug in space heaters. Riley says plug only a space heater into a specific outlet and don't use extension cords with them and follow this simple rule when using space heaters. You want to try to keep things at least three feet away. Uh, that includes pets, uh, carpet, anything like that away from space heaters to make sure that those don't ignite when you're using those. Above all, keep working smoke detectors in your home and test the batteries in them every month. Now, if you need to go outdoors for any extended period of time, the Red Cross has guidelines for that too. First and foremost, dress in layers. That's the best thing you can do. Also, make sure you keep your head covered. And above all else, if you don't have to be outside, simply stay indoors. People want to make sure that they're limiting their exposure to the, to the cold if they can. Um, staying out of the cold is, is the best way or the way that I try to do it. Some good advice to staying safe and warm during this blast of Arctic weather. In Terre Haute, I'm John Swanner, News 10. The Red Cross offers free smoke detectors for anyone who needs one. They'll even install it in your home. The Terre Haute Fire Department also offers this service for city residents.